Today's math strategy video is on finding equivalent fractions. So just like in our previous lesson, when we were talking about understanding what an equivalent fraction is, we're going to use some of those same strategies that we talked about there, like using a model or using a number line or fraction strips to identify other equivalent or equal fractions. So for our example here, it says you can use models to help you write a whole number as a fraction. Now we kind of talked about this um, before when we were talking about our, remember our number line where we had, um, let's say, I think we had thirds and so this was one, zero, one, two, three. And so we would say this was one third, two thirds, three, um, two thirds, three thirds. Sorry, I did that. Let me, this would be our whole. And then we would have four thirds, five thirds. So you can represent um, whole numbers um, with fractions. So if I um, also showed you the example like four over four, if I had four pieces, um, my denominator represents my four pieces. And let's say I had all four of them shaded in. So that would be four, four. So this is a whole shaded in. So we talked about those with models and on a number line. So it says each part is one fourth of a whole. So here we have one, two, three, we have four sets of a fourth and that makes a whole. And then another set of four fourths, which makes our second whole. So we have two holes here. Now, how many fourths do we have in all? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight fourths. Now, I remember also I just talked about how um, fractions are like division. So eight fourths is the same as saying eight divided by four, which gives me two. So that tells me I have two holes. Let's look at this. Oh, we have a number line right down here. Let's look at it. So it says um, it shows where I have my one hole and my two holes. And then I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths four fourths. So here's my whole, but now I'm going to keep going. So what is something that you notice um, whenever the, about the numerators, whenever I get past a whole, so I have four fourths, the numerator becomes greater than the denominator. So back here I had three fourths, so three was still smaller than four. So I know that it's not quite a whole. Here, when I do have a hold, the numbers are the same. Okay, so that tells me it's one. But now I have a numerator that is greater than my denominator. So that tells me that this is larger than one whole. Okay, let's look at, let's still, let's continue on with our number lines. So now I have five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and then eight fourths. Now, this one represents one, but remember I told you that this is like division. Fractions, the, uh, the fraction symbol, which is our little line right here, also represents division. So it's like saying eight divided by four. Eight divided by four is two, because four times two is eight. Let's continue on this number line so you can see a pattern. Okay, let's say that this was, uh, this was going to be three holes. So we had a hole here and a hole here. So let's divide this into four. So I would have nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, and 12 fourths. Well, 12 fourths is the same as 12 divided by four, which is three. So hopefully you see that pattern there. Let's look at using these models and comparing fractions. So here we have, these are the same whole, same holes here. So we're able to kind of compare them and we can see, are they the same? So here I have this portion filled in. And then over here, I have this same portion filled in. 
Now with this dark color, you can probably see that they are the same. These two pieces, whoa, these two pieces are equivalent. So here we have one, two, three, four, four fifths. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15. So four fifths and 12 15 are the same. Here we have one third shape, one out of three shaded in, and then two out of six. So one third and two six. These are equivalent. Right here we have two out of four. So you can see when I shade this in with this red, and I shade this in, See that those two pieces are equal. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 16. So two fourths and eight sixteenths are equivalent or equal. Let's look at a number line. So here we have these number lines are just to one, zero to one. So this one is divided into one, two, three, four. So this would be three fourths. Okay, now we have one, two, three. This would be two thirds. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one would be four, six. Well, if you remember in the previous video, I told you that when on a number line, when these fractions, when they line up underneath each other, they are equivalent. And when they do not line up, they are not equivalent. So three fourths is not this one is not equal to these. So these two are the same. So two thirds is equal to four sixths. That is the end of today's math strategy video.